Hello Art Beaters! I'm Becky with ArtBeats.com and we've got a brand new video for you today. Today we're going to be taking a look at some beautiful prestige crystal innovations. These are new colors and bead shapes and crystal styles that are uh, fresh for spring and some beautiful colors that you're going to love designing with. We'll take a look at the new crystal items. I'll explain a little bit more about prestige crystal and we'll also be making a really a fun necklace with some of these beautiful spring colors and I'll also show you a fun Easter design made with these crystals as well so let's dive right in just to remind everyone prestige crystal it's um, a new line of Austrian crystal really beautiful and we do have a lot of prestige crystal already on our website in colors and article shapes and sizes that you might already know and love so we've got the classic crystal crystal a B jet all those great staple colors but there's constantly new colors new shapes new styles coming out um, and for this launch we have got a really great new color it's called citrus green and i think it's perfect for spring isn't that just oh it just looks fresh and fun and the sparkle kind of makes it look like dewy grass or something it's just such a really nice almost like a lemon lime color too it's a really nice bright cheerful fun color of course we've got all of these beads so beautiful i love it in the rounds and you can see how wonderfully this sparkles again prestige crystal is austrian crystal so really nice high quality it's so sparkly uh really lovely and these are the bicones in that new citrus green color so pretty i love bicones love working with them these are just such fun spring colors yeah new sprung leaves fresh buds yeah for sure yeah really fun color uh great color for spring uh, wonderful timing on this. So these are available on the website now, artbeads.com. I've got links to everything in the video description. Um, so if you see something you like, click that see more button on the video description and you'll see um, links to everything shown here. We've got that citrus green too available in some other styles than just beads. This is the pear shaped pendant which I just love the cut of that. It's really classic, really fun. Great for earrings, necklaces. And I did end up using these in a fun little Easter themed pair of earrings. Um, Easter is the 17th of April this year, I believe. So plenty of time to make some earring designs if you're if you're wanting to make some earring or uh, Easter jewelry. Um, I did a little brick stitch Easter egg. And I, um, I did it in fun Toho Ico seed bead colors. Um, and I love working with the Toho Icos because they're really precise and uniform and consistent. So they stitch up uh, really easily and really fast. They're so pretty. So I found some fun little spring colors and then I paired it with some of these prestige crystals. I've got a crystal pearlescent white pearl, um, this yellow opal color from prestige that is just, oh, so beautiful. And then I put those new citrus green uh, pear shaped pendants in there as well well. I really like how these turned out and I think it would be fun. Um, we have tutorial a tutorial for this design in our design studio now. I've got the link in the video description. We've got the PDF diagram for making this little brick stitch egg. Um, I think it'd be super fun to switch up the colors. Um, if you have different Toho Ico colors or Miyuki Delica colors or Toho Treasure colors, um, switch up the colors. Make your own little fun Easter egg um, and and I think they're subtle enough that you could just wear them throughout spring. Uh, super cute. And this is a quick stitch because they are um, little, just little small Easter eggs. So a little quick stitch uh, for some fun Easter egg earrings. I had a lot of fun with those spring colors in those earrings. We've also got uh, citrus green um, little disc pendants. I love this shape. So it's just a little round pendant with the hole at the top. You could even call it a charm. And then the faceting kind of comes to a point on the front and the back. It's kind of the same faceting as a Rivoli fancy stone. 
So really fun. I just, that color is just so fresh and happy. It, it just makes you ah, feel good. <laughs> Loving those spring colors. Yeah, me too. And we've got some fun kind of new flatback shapes with this launch and fancy stone shapes too. So we've got that chiton in the, um, in that citrus green color. It looks really beautiful. Um, chitons typically have a foiled backing and I think that foiled backing makes that color um, so striking, a little, a little deeper um, with that backing on it. So really lovely. Chitons are great. You can put them in settings. I know Tierra Cast makes settings that work with stones like these. Um, you can embed them into clay epoxy clay uh, use them in your craft projects all kinds of different things you can do with those and there's a couple other new uh, fancy stone shapes in this launch we've got this little rectangular fancy stone and a little square one too which you could also um, use as in a diamond if you if you oriented it that way hi Barbara good to see you so really cute. I really like that rectangle shape, um, kind of art deco. These would be good for embedding into clay pieces. Um, if you if you do mosaic work, you could add them into your mosaics for a little bit of sparkle. Um, all kinds of different things you could do with those. That's a really fun one. And then we've got this new flat back shape. This one, um, it has the faceting of a chiton but a flat back. So that's really exciting. Um, and we've got that in a few different colors. So that's a fun new flat back shape that you can use in your designs. We've got the classic Rivoli fancy stone that I was talking about earlier. It's got that pointed foiled back that is available in that beautiful citrus green color. I love the faceting of the Rivoli's. It's almost like a kind of like a pinwheel effect. Um, just really beautiful and it sparkles. Um, in such a lovely way. We've got this beautiful pear-shaped fancy stone in the citrus green color. Look at that. Oh my goodness, that looks like a fantastic treasure. So beautiful. So this is another one. Again, these fancy stones um, usually have foiled backs. Sometimes they have clear backs, but this one has a foiled back and no stringing hole. So what you're going to do is find a setting that works with it, um, embed it into clay. Epoxy clay works great. Um, you can seed bead bezel around it as well. That's an option. Um, very fun ways to use something like this. Yeah, they kind of do look like Peridot. Um, I've got the Peridot Prestige Crystal color here to compare. I should have grabbed some Peridot uh, gemstones though because I think that would look really great with Peridot gemstones. Really good suggestion, Cindy. Um, so really nice uh, color there. Then we've got these really fun new star shapes. So we've got this star sew on. It's got a, it's kind of like a sequin. It has a um, hole in the center so you can stitch it into things. This would be great for like costumes. I'm picturing this in some sort of fabulous bead embroidery with just a little seed bead on top for even more color and sparkle. And these are available in different colors as well. So really fun little star sew on stone and it is flat on the back. So super fun. I kind of am wanting to try this in some fun bead embroidery project. A hot day in Los Angeles and that sounds wonderful. It's it's not hot here but it is it's getting nicer. <laughs> and then to go along with that sew on stone, we've also got um these star shaped flat backs now these are just so cute again they come in all kinds of different colors click that link for the prestige innovations in my video description so you can shop them all there's more than um just what i'm showing here uh and these come in different sizes as well but i love that little star shape i think these would be super great for nail art, if you're into nail art, I don't have like beautiful nails like some people do, um, but they would be beautiful in nail art. You could also, um, I've seen a lot of like uh, younger girls do their eye makeup with the gems on like around their eyes. I think these would be really nice little eye makeup gems. So pretty, don't you think? Um, 
that show, <laughs> it's kind of a crazy show. That show Euphoria, one of the girls, she wears crazy um, eye makeup with the uh, with the with the little flat backs crystals um, around her eyes. It looks really cool. Um, so if you're if you're adventurous with your makeup and you want to add a little sparkle around your eyes, these would be good. Um, I just love that cute little shape. Oh, Peridot. Yeah, it is. It is a very uh, close match to Peridot. So this is the new citrus green color um, from Prestige Crystal. It's That's an Austrian crystal, so really nice quality. And it does. It has that kind of Peridot look. Now I grabbed some beads to play with, and I did want to grab some more Prestige colors um, to kind of compare and show what would go great with this new citrus green color. So this is the Prestige Peridot color and this is the citrus green. Uh, I think they look really nice together but that citrus green does have a little more um, zest to it I guess you could say. So really pretty. I like how they look together. Um, another one that I thought would work really well with this citrus green color is the prestige light turquoise color. That just looks tropical and wonderful. You know, you've got the ocean, palm trees. I love them together. So nice. Um, really great colors all around. Um, I thought Crystal Luminous Green would be another great color to use with this because it's it's just a really soft, almost like a neutral color, but it does have the hints of that lighter green and a little bit of pinks in there too. Um, so I thought that one would look really good with the new Citrus Green. So pretty. Um, I picked up this Light Colorado Topaz Shimmer. I think that one would be nice, again, because it has... Um, that iridescent color of the shimmer in there to pick up on that bright green color. Yeah, I like those together. Yeah, it is very summery. Hi, Diane. Um, I think this is such a great color with like a nice soft pink or even a, a darker pink. You'll see I've got a fuchsia picked out there too. Um, just quintessential spring colors right there and they go so well together. There's a reason they're paired up in nature. They're just pleasing to the eye. So, so really pretty. I've got this, uh, this is a crystal pearl from Prestige in a rose color. I like that too. And I've got some other uh, check glass beads that you could pair with this citrus green too. I'm, I'm just thinking when I look at this citrus green, initially I'm thinking, ooh, like aqua, yellow, fuchsia would be really good and bright and fun. Almost, this is springy and summery here. So I got these fire polished beads in this fun bright yellow color. I've got this really nice aqua color with a little bit of iridescence and then this fun fuchsia. I think those look just wonderful together. And of course we have really great um, green options to go with that as well. So this is a really nice kind of springy green with a little bit of a gold sheen to it that I thought looked good with that citrus green. Oh, I'm loving all of these. And then I thought, okay, citrus green spring, we need some flowers. So I found these lovely Raven's Journey check glass wild rose flower beads in just, there's no funner color than this. I just love it. It, it just shines with greens and golds and there's a little bit of blue and purple in there. And I think it is an excellent match. I mean, look at that uh, with the citrus green on either side. There's one side that's less iridescent and then one side that's more iridescent. I think it's beautiful with that. So I've got those to work with. Um, I'm thinking I want to make a necklace today. Again, everything I've got here that I'm working with, I have links to shop in the in the video description. They're all available at artbeads.com. Um, and then I also picked up this Garden Beads enameled piece. I thought it would be kind of fun to layer it with this. Don't those look good layered together? So I'm thinking we're going to make a necklace today and I'm going to layer this piece um, because this does have like a, a wavy texture to it where a pendant could sit really nicely there in between the, the waves. So I'm thinking of layering those. I think that would look really cool. Um, so pretty. So I picked that up as well. So I think today I am going to make a necklace. We're just going to design on the fly with these fun spring colors today. Um, super pretty. Um, definitely going to start here and I've got a nice little veil here to attach it to. 
but I think I want, um, I think I want a, uh, a little bead dangle too, to, uh, extend my pendant a little. So I'm working with this cute little bail. This is a sterling silver bail. Really nice. Um, and then let's see here. Let's see what other colors do we want to work with in. I definitely want to add the flowers and we're definitely going to add in that citrus green color to match the pendant. Um, so we want some flowers in there. Oh yeah, look at that. How pretty is that? Ooh, this is going to be fun. Um, I'm thinking we, we definitely want some of this fuchsia color. I just love that. And then maybe we're going to also add in the softer pink as well. Kind of just kind of contrast with that fuchsia. I do like that softer pink in there. Okay, so we want the softer pink. We want citrus green. We want these flowers. I want it all in there, to be honest. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to use an eye pin. Let's see. Here's an eye pin. An eye pin to make a little bead dangle. And then I'm also going to... I'm also going to attach my two pendants together for that layered look. And I've got that jump ring. I'm thinking it'll work. If not, I have a bigger one that I can try. So yeah, super exciting spring colors we're working with today. Uh, we've got these all new prestige crystal uh, shapes and colors. I'm working with the citrus green today, which I just am loving. It's so nice. Oh yeah, that, that worked perfectly. Look at that. Oh, I really love how that looks. It almost looks like a, like a Luna moth or something. Um, it just looks really organic and springy and cheerful. Really beautiful. <laughs> Beverly, I am crazy about those color combos. Bright green, turquoise, pink, fuchsia is just chef's kiss. Mwah. <laughs> Thank you. I agree. I just think they're so happy. You can't help but smile when you look at those colors. All right, so we've got those attached. That was easy peasy. And now I want to do a little, um, just a little bead dangle to attach to the bail. Um, so let's see. So we got to figure out what colors we want there. I'm thinking maybe this yellow seed bead. I think that's a nice little Oh yeah, that looks really good. And then maybe this light turquoise. Ooh, that's nice. Um, I definitely want this in there as well too. Yeah, these are some fun colors. I think that the citrus green is so bright and fun that it just pushes you to use even more bright and fun colors. So I had a lot of fun picking out some really fun colors that maybe you wouldn't use all the time but spring uh, together at least um these colors i think you could use in a lot of different ways but using all these bright fun colors all together is just it's a joy it really is oh look at that that is so fun all right i'm loving that let's just throw in a little seed beads over here yeah that's gonna work out really nicely Yeah, just a little, just a little something at the top of that pendant. Um, and then I'm going to make a wrapped loop at the top of this, I think. Well, actually I might just make a simple loop. You can make a wrapped loop or a simple loop. It is your preference. go. Wrapped loop complete. These colors, yeah, they are, they actually make me like, I don't know, like they're so citrusy. They make me thirsty. Like I want lemonade now. <laughs> it's like a painting. Yeah. Just those bright, vivid colors, so beautiful. Okay. 
And then we just attach this to our bale. Close the loop nice. I always like to make sure that my loop is really, um, the end of the loop is really flush to the beginning of the, of the loop. So I know that it's uh, gonna hang, that it's gonna be secure. Yeah, that's so fun. <laughs> Looks more like Mountain Dew. No, 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 I do not do. <laughs> I do not do the do. <laughs> I don't know, in the bead color, I love it. As a drink color, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> but you're right it is kind of the same color uh, but it just makes me think more of lemonade because I like lemonade more than I like Mountain Dew <laughs> uh, that's funny all right so pretty all right so I'm gonna get some jewelry wire I'll use some of our art beads designer jewelry wire um, 0 0.019 inch uh, that's a good a good size to use for all kinds of projects. It works for necklaces. And, oh, there you go, Holly. Margaritas. Now that's that's a lemon-lime color I can get behind. <laughs> yeah, margaritas for sure. Green Apple Jolly Rancher. That too. Okay, those are good. <laughs> uh, so I've just cut um, a nice length here. I will probably trim this wire down. Uh, but I do like to uh, give myself a little bit of wiggle room if I want to make a long versus a short necklace. This one will probably be um, on the shorter side because I think this laying like just below your, um, what's that called, your clavicle? I think that's what it's called. Um, I think that would look really nice. That looks so lovely together. Oh, we've got Midori Sour. Yeah, it looks like that too. Uh, you guys are funny. All right, so um, I'm going to start for this design. We're going to start with the pendant in the middle and then kind of build um, each side as we go. And so I'm going to put a bead stopper on one side. Have you guys ever used um, bead stoppers? They're really great. So this is a bead stopper. It's got little kind of handles at the end so you can squeeze it and open it. It's got all these little coils. Put it on the end of your wire and then your beads can't go sliding off um, and it's great for multi-strand pieces too um, let's see so what color we should probably start with the citrus green since um, it is the same color as the as the uh, pendant there and these ones the fun thing about this bicone shape it's gonna kind of nest a little bit in that bale um, so really fun so I'm gonna I'm gonna do both sides so I can see how that looks. Yeah, Vicky says the bead stoppers are absolutely necessary. Yeah, once you use them, it's hard to it's hard to not use them. That looks really cool. Bead stoppers are the best, Michelle says. They really are. I always have a little a little jar of them handy. And they come in different sizes too. We've got the really small ones if you're doing like a little seed bead project. So that's nice. We do sell those on our website. Um, right away, I'm thinking, let's bring in this because that is also in our pendant. So we want a nice transition from pendant to body of the necklace. Where'd that guy go? There he is. Um, right away, I want to use this because I love that color. Ooh, this is going to be such a fun piece. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I think we need to bring that um, citrus green back. There we go. Let's do more of that pink. Can't live without my bead stoppers. Yeah. Okay. And I like to kind of hold up and see, like, how this is actually gonna lay uh, when it's done. Kind of take a look. This is really fun. These are some fun colors. I think I wanna bring in, I do wanna bring in this yellow here maybe, or maybe I just stick with this uh, smaller seed bead yellow. Let's experiment with adding in a flower now.
Hmm. Okay, now that I'm like putting it together, maybe I don't want that like this little link between the bail and the pendant. Maybe I want the pendant right up to the bail. That's kind of why I went with a simple loop so I could change my mind. I'm thinking I want to do that. What do you guys think? I think that would look, I think that would look a little better. Or we could do these as like, put them on a, a head pin and like make little dangles, like right there. That might be interesting. I'm gonna have to try that. <laughs> Getting wild here. Yeah, that just kind of hang. Oh, maybe we do that. Um, yeah, and they just kind of like right after that turquoise bead. Okay, let's try that. I think that'd be a really fun little look. Do we want... Yeah. Um, maybe we stick with just... Oh, or I do have the little citrus greens. Oh, that little citrus green is nice in there because of the bicone shape. It fits really nicely in the in the petal shape of the flower. So I think I'm gonna do that. That's super fun. Oh yeah, that's perfect. That little bicone shape nests up so wonderfully with that flower and it just oh it looks great all right so i'm gonna make a wrap loop at the top of this and we have all kinds of instructions for making simple loops wrapped loops um on our website artbeats.com step-by-step -step photo instructions videos everything you can need <laughs> Yes to the dangles. All right, I'll do it. I'll do it. Challenge accepted. Um, so fun. This is a this is really fun. Really inspiring for spring. I always love like the very beginning of spring because the weather is just getting nicer and you can just feel like the sun is coming and all the blooms are gonna start to sprout and it's just it's like exciting. New beginnings, that's what it always feels like. Yeah, that's so fun, okay. Yeah, and I think I wanna put it like right there. Yes, 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 yes. I love that. Uh, I'll put my headphones over here. That's super fun. Are you guys working on any spring jewelry as well? What are you guys working on? Um, it's a great time, you know, start a spring. Get, get to those projects. My azaleas are gorgeous now. Tina, yay. Yes, I love when all the plants start to, plants and flowers start to bloom. Um, some of the uh, cherry blossoms are starting to come out now. So it's, that's always great to see those pretty pink trees everywhere that's how you know spring is here oops there we go spring is just so happy and a promise of new beginnings yeah exactly it is happy or hoppy <laughs> if you want to do an easter pun <laughs> I love these flowers too. They're really beautiful. Um, just a really cool color. 
Um, and we do have these, these are the Wild Rose check glass beads from Raven's Journey, and we have them in all kinds of really pretty colors, but this has got to be one of my favorites. Okay, loving that. It just looks like spring personified. Uh, let's see, I'm going to do it this way. I might want to do it after the turquoise bead because it will be a little... Becky, what do you do with your scraps of wire? Um, typically, the scraps of wire, like for a head pin... Oops, this light is always falling. For a head pin, like this, this is a really long head pin. Um, sometimes with this, it's long enough where you can save it and um, use it again as a as a eye pin. So you can make a simple loop on one end, add a bead, simple loop. Um, so that's a one way you can use your scraps of wire. Uh, but often I'm working with a, uh, with a piece of, with a head pin or an eye pin that's close enough to the length I want where there's not a whole lot of wire left over. Uh, and so then I'll just, I'll just toss that. But, um, and then for scraps of this, I actually have at my desk here, a little magnet on the frame of my, of my work space. And I put any scraps that are long enough to reuse as a necklace or a bracelet. I'll add that to the magnet there. And then, um, that's where all the scraps of beading jewelry wire live. Um, to be used for a future project. So um, that's a very good point to bring up. There's always um, ways to use some of your scraps. So um, don't be hasty to throw things away. That's a, you know, that's the crafter's dilemma always, you know, do I throw this away or could I use it for a craft? <laughs> Everything can be repurposed, right? Um, so fun. Okay, yeah, that's looking great. Okay, yeah, after the after the turquoise bead is the perfect place to do it. Oh my gosh, how did I get this all messed up? I thought I was doing it correctly. So I'm I'm trying to string this. You see that there's there's a finish on this bead on one side, and I want that that side to be on the front. It looks really cool from this side too, because then that finish kind of shines through the glass, but I think I want um, that finish to be on the front. So let me try that again. I've tried it like twice already. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so I need to redo this and that's the other thing about um working from the middle um and adding to one side you can add to one side and then kind of maybe try something a little different on the other side and see which one you like better and then adjust as you go um so that's a, another fun way to adjust your design as you're working and that's easy to do when you're starting with your pendant and working from the center Okay, so I've got my little flower dangles. I think that's really fun. Uh, let's see. And then I want pink. Citrus. Pink. I love this. It's just, it's so cute. Should I do the flower dangles like all throughout? What do you think? Maybe do like yellow here and then a flower dangle. Or do I just add the flower straight on? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm guessing that's a yes to flower dangles throughout the whole piece. Yeah, I think I have to go with that. It's, I just, there's no other way. <laughs> okay, so let me, um, yeah, that's what I wanna do. Yeah, I, I, I was considering pulling some purple with that citrus green too, because purple would look beautiful. I've still got some gemstones here. Yeah, take a look at this with purple. It's a great match for purple. Beautiful. 
I would do flower dangles throughout because it adds more oomph to the necklace. I'm thinking you're right. Um, so that's the way I've got to go. <laughs> the people have spoken. Or add the flower between the two pinks. Yeah, that could be. So many different ways to go. That's the fun thing about designing jewelry is, you know, we all could be given the same beads and we're going to come up with something completely different and that will change like as we design. I had a completely different plan when I started this and then I got to thinking, hey, maybe those those flowers would make good dangles. So you just never know where your creativity is going to go. always uh, watch where your wire is flying when you cut it. Usually I use my uh, my hand to kind of guard it so it doesn't go flying everywhere. Oh yeah, that's fun. Okay. Okay, this is looking cute. I'm loving it. Oh, also, you guys, Bridgerton is starting back up. And who else was obsessed with Bridgerton when it came out and all the costumes and the jewelry? Um, so good. So I'm really excited to see the new season and see all the pretty new costumes and jewelry. Maybe get some inspiration from that. So very exciting. That's but these colors are kind of reminding me of that. The one mom on Bridgerton, or that one family, um, the Featheringtons, I think. They're, they're always wearing, like, these colors. Yes, there is no wrong or right, right way as long as you love what you have done. Exactly. That's the beauty of creating. Okay, I'm loving this. It's like a little spring fairy look. Spring fairy vibes. So cute. Okay, another dangle. I might as well just pull all of these head pins out. We're going to be using quite a few of them. Yay for Bridgerton! Yes, I love it. Um, the only thing is, um, I don't think the main the main couple, uh, Simon Duke Simon and and Daphne are, are the focus this season. I think it's focusing on another Bridgerton. <laughs> Um, which is fine, but you know, I kind of loved, I loved the Duke. He was, he was hunky. <laughs> yeah. Um, Michelle, no Duke. Alas, my heart may be broken. Just don't tell my husband. Yeah. He was, he was nice to look at. I will agree with you there. And his voice, um, he's on the Calm app. Um, and he does like, he'll read you like bedtime stories and his voice is so nice. <laughs> they knew what they were doing with that one. So cute. I would love to be making something, but I'm holding my dog's foot so he doesn't slip off my lap. He's so spoiled. Oh, doggies always want to be as close as possible, right? Even the big ones. <laughs> Our great Dane, he used to, he wanted to be like right in my lap. And he was like, he's bigger than me. <laughs> Alrighty. We do sell the head pins. They are 22 gauge. Um, these are three inch. I would probably use something shorter, um, but I just used something that was close, <laughs> close at hand for today's demo. Um, and the code is SS-HP23, sterling silver. Um, 
and they just come in in little bags you can buy them um I think you can buy them in packs of 50 or 100, if I'm not mistaken, or you can buy them individually. So cute. Okay, so I've got that little segment. And then I think what I'm going to do here, I'll add another yellow. I think I'm gonna do another I think I want to like uh so I've got this one and then this one and then I think I'm gonna keep like putting these this little segment between I think that'll be nice we'll see Absolutely loving this necklace. Me too. It's so cute. But I'm thinking maybe, maybe I alternate between this segment and an aqua segment because I need to pull in more of this aqua color here. So maybe I do, do I dare add another bead color? <laughs> Ooh. Uh, let's see. Mm, I think this is a little uh, too subtle for my purposes. Really add in around. Ooh, around is fun. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. And then um, after the next little segment here, I will go back to this pink color. So I'm just trying to like kind of establish my pattern. There's a lot going on, but I do like to have like an overall pattern. <laughs> Oh, it's so cute. I love it. The flowers really makes the center pop. It's interesting how by changing a few components, the look changes. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. I love these little flowers. Ugh. So cute. All right, so let's make another little dangle. I think this is like the brightest. I love working with bright colors and I've made some bright things. But I think this is like the brightest colors I've ever put into a necklace and I love it. I need to do more of it. Yes, 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 yes. And then you could easily make some matching earrings just by turning one of your little wrapped loops uh, just by adding a uh, adding an ear wire to the top and then you've got quick matching earrings so so cute There it goes, it went flying. <laughs> I keep forgetting to uh, guard it with my hand. Um, and you can see um, on this one that I did, the loop is kind of facing the same way as the, uh, as the flower here. I'm gonna turn it a little with my pliers um, just so it's a little better oriented um, for stringing on directly onto the necklace. looking so cute 
yeah so on that so now that i've added that dangle i've got that aqua and that green color back i'm gonna go back to that pink segment yeah i think that's the way to go that's the ticket Yeah, so cute. So I'll do the same on that side. Now, here's what I'm thinking for finishing this. I'm thinking that I finish with a silk ribbon. I'm such a, I'm such a fan of silk ribbon. Um, I'm thinking I find a really pretty bright silk ribbon. If I can find the perfect color silk ribbon, I think finishing this piece. Oh, look at that. I'm just like not even thinking of my dangle here. I got to dangle first. <laughs> um, I'm thinking if I can find the perfect silk ribbon, that I will just finish this piece with that because that's another thing that has just such beautiful, bright, vibrant colors is some of our silk ribbon. So I might do that. Um, and we've got three dangles on each side so far and I think that's a really good, um, a really good number. And then that way, if you finish with the silk ribbon, you can kind of tie it to whatever length you want. Um, so you've got like an adjustable look. So maybe I do that. That might be a good way to finish it. Um, when I do finish this, we will add this piece to the design studio um, with instructions and a supplies list. Um, so you can, you know, read the instructions, get the supplies and make this beauty for yourself. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Oh, that was a really nice wrapped loop. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> oh, let's guard. Guard our... Uh... There, now it didn't go flying because I guarded it with my finger. Oh, and then I also like to... Um, you see how that like end is kind of still sticking out? I like to kind of tuck it with the pliers. And do be careful when doing this with your beads. You don't want to accidentally break the bead or anything like that. And then I'm going to adjust the little... there. I love it. Who's ready to be a fairy princess? <laughs> I am. Okay, so that's beautiful. I think I am going to try and find a beautiful silk ribbon to finish this with. Um, if I can find one in the right colors, it'll be a beautiful way to finish this off. So how I would do that is um, you're gonna wanna crimp the ends here um, to a nice wide jump ring. So I will add a crimp tube, go back through the wire. Let me just show you. I'll show you what I've got in mind here. So I'm gonna get some nice big jump rings. I've got these. I don't need to open them. Uh, but I do want to make sure they're uh, nice and closed. Uh, the ends are flush. The necklace is fabulous. Thank you, Alice. It came out really cute. Very pretty. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Add my crimp tube to the end. I'll add my jump ring to the wire. Um, and then you'll hold, let me put my bead stopper on. I'm not following my own advice here. Bead stopper on the other end. Then you go back through that crimp tube with your, with your wire. 
and pull tight. Um, and then I'm gonna use my crimp tool. Um, I'm gonna crimp it in place with that second notch, crimp tight, and then fold that crimp in on itself with the first notch. And then that'll be all nice and crimped. And then I will, and we have instructions for this um, on our website. Yeah, your daughter would love it. I need to make it for her. That was a great idea, Brenda. Then once you've crimped, you're gonna trim that excess wire. Don't trim the part that's holding your beads. That would be bad. Um, and then you'll do the same on the other side. Now the thing you gotta keep in mind with the other side, you wanna hold your piece up so you know all the beads are nice and snug together so you don't have any gaps between your beads when everything's all crimped. Um, and then I will add silk ribbon. Um, Terracast makes these wonderful um, kind of barrel beads that you can crimp down. Probably use one of those to crimp the ribbon to these nice big jump rings. Um, so that is my plan for finishing this beautiful necklace. I love how it turned out. I was not expecting to make little flower dangles, but I think that that just looks great. And I love the colors. They're just so fun and fantastical and perfect for spring. Um, so definitely check out those new Prestige crystals. We've got this lovely new citrus green color. Again, this is really high quality Austrian crystal. And we do have lots of other colors, um, some that you might even already know and love. We've got the classics, Crystal, Crystal AB, those beautiful crystal pearls as well. And also check out our new tutorial for these cute little Easter egg earrings. Easter is coming, so it's a great time to check this tutorial out and maybe make those. Uh, it's a really fun time uh, designing with you guys and inspiring you hopefully. And I'm gonna Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please make sure to leave a like and a comment. That's always so great and we really appreciate it. And, always, and as always make sure to subscribe to our channel so you're the first to know when videos like this one are out. Thank you so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.